Hey everybody, well, what is going on? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video with PyOpenGL uh, and Python. So, uh, where we left off, we were basically pulling in these mouse buttons. We found out that 4 is forward, 5 is reverse. Uh, and now I want to show you guys how we can kind of utilize this to zoom in and out of our object. So, we want to do uh, if event dot button is a 4. Uh, then we want to gl uh, translate f um, 0, 0.0, 0, 0.0, and 1.0. Uh, then we'll go ahead and just run uh, l if event dot button equals a 5 gl translate f 0, 0.0, 0, 0.0 and 1.0 actually this is negative 1.0 and that will zoom for us we're going to turn off rotate for now and you'll see why in a moment uh, but let's go ahead and save and run that there is our cube now we come on screen and we'll scroll our mouse and you'll see how we are zooming in and out now um, now let's go ahead and turn on rotate <laughs> Uh, so rotate. There's our cube, awesome. And you see how as we roll, it's almost like it's it's like we're having a really hard time controlling it. <laughs> and the reason for this is you, you need to understand what uh, what is happening. So when we zoom, it's like it's affecting like us, right? But we're also zooming in and out of the actual cube, which is spinning. And then each time we zoom, basically we're zooming in and out from a different kind of perspective. And so that's what makes this really confusing initially. Um, here it, ah, uh, we've lost it. <laughs> um, but here's an example. Uh, let's do, let's take off rotate. Um, we'll do zero, zero, and zero. Let's see how that looks for us. Right, and so now we're just zooming in and out of this cube. Okay, um, easy enough. And then what I want to go ahead and do, let's make this uh, 50, and we need to make X. Let's do X as 5. Okay, so now you can see it's going like forward and reverse. Now, what uh, if, uh, let's change this. It's not so steep. Um, okay, oops. <laughs> One more time. Okay, now this is a good idea or a good time to show you uh, the clips or you know clipping. So we could change this to five and this to ten. Okay, so as we zoom out, we can see it, but as we zoom forward, we see that the cube is being clipped away, right? Uh, based on our view. So as we get closer to it, it's like chop, it's like slicing off the top of the cube, basically. Uh, we can also get a better look of that. Uh, let's do uh, 20. Let's try that. Right. So as the cube comes closer to us, it's being clipped away. And then as it moves away from us, it's also being clipped away. The more you know. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, so that's that, um, and let's see, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really want to show you as far as, zoom. so like perspective, for example, if we made this 90, um, and we zoom out, okay, so you can see that, um, let us, let's see if there's anything else I really want to show, um, no, I think that covers it as far as like with, with zoom. Um, what I would want to show you guys. So anyway, that's that. Uh, we could turn back on on rotate, and yeah, rotate really shows it well. Uh, there's still a couple of things I definitely want to show you guys, uh, especially like coloring and stuff like that. So stay tuned to the next video for that. As always, thanks for watching.